in Excel, and it's a quick one. I want to talk about something called the fill handle. And it can be used in a variety of situations. So for example, I've typed uh, in a cell, I've typed in Jan, indicating January. And the fill handle, if you notice when I click on a cell, if I move my mouse over the border, it becomes these four arrows. That's for moving, that's like a cut and paste. You can also use it for a copy and paste if you hold control. Uh, the big white plus sign is for selecting. We'll talk about that in another video, but that's for selecting. The fill handle is that box in the little corner, and when you move your mouse over that box, it becomes a, a dark plus sign, filled in plus sign. If I were to click and hold and drag, you'll notice it's not working right away, so don't be discouraged by that. You've got to drag far enough, and then it fills to the next cell, next cell, next cell, next cell. You can go as far as you want. In this case, it's filled in the months. I also could do this with days of the week. We could do it with just regular date. Now, keep in mind, this does have to be a date. Uh, it has to be an acceptable date format. You can look at my uh, other video for entering uh, data types into Excel. And if you fill a date across, it's gonna jump by day. If I wanted a different increment, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Any word followed by a number, so in this case, I've just typed section one, it's gonna increment the number. It could be absolutely any word, it has nothing to do with the fact that I put in section. So chapter, uh, anything would work followed by a number. And we can indicate that here, actually. You can see I've typed in single apostrophe 001, so it is text. And when I fill that across, it of course counts the numbers. Now, if I just had a regular number, if I just had the number one and I fill that across, I get a bunch of ones. So we would have thought maybe that it was gonna count one, two, three, four, five. If you wanna do this, there's two ways. The first way is to make sure you give it an increment. So I've told it I wanted to go one and then two, and I've selected both of the cells. So again, selecting was done using the white plus sign. If I now use the fill handle, with those two cells selected, it will count on that increment. And I'll show you another example of that. Let's say I did zero and five, selected both the cells, then use the fill handle, away you go. The other way I was gonna mention to you that it will work is if you just had the number one, or any number for that matter, and you hold down the control key and then you fill it, what it does is by default it fills the series, so it will automatically count for you. And just like we did with the increment here, you could get it to jump uh, dates the same way. So if I have uh, today's date in here, and let's just say I change this to jump by tens, we can fill it across, and as you can see, it's gonna use that increment uh, moving forward to jump. It'll jump every five days. The other place where this can be useful is with formulas. So, I'm just going to put in a basic formula here. I'm just going to put in a sum formula that adds up these numbers. And I basically want to do the exact same thing here, except the formula would be column B. Well, the fill handle can anticipate that, and you can just fill the formula over. This is probably the most common use of the fill handle, is to fill formulas uh, across columns or down in your rows, which I should point out, you don't just have to fill it across. You can fill uh, options down as well. So if I had uh, a day of the week here, I could fill it down. It's, it's completely up to you. So there you have it. That's the fill handle. It can do a lot of work for us in Excel.